Hey Gophers, I'm Luke McCoy with the Google Go team. It is my honor today to announce the long-awaited release of Go 118. Building on the stability and reliability of previous Go versions, Go 118 is packed with new features and enhancements. Let's have a look under the hood. Generics. That's right, generics are ready to rock and roll in Go 118. Now you can write code like this and begin to simplify and streamline your code base using Go's generics implementation. There's new syntax like square brackets and type parameters to discuss and learn about in Go generics, so look for additional walkthroughs in the coming weeks. Generics was the most requested feature in Go and was complex to implement, so it took a few years to get generics just right, and now it's ready for production use. In addition, we intend to enable some of the more complex generics use cases in future releases. So be on the lookout for those updates as well. Fuzzing. With release 118, Go is the first major language to implement fuzzing directly into its standard tool chain. If you've never heard of fuzzing, think of it like a test tool that will pass in test values that you never would have thought to add to your test cases. As such, the use of fuzzing will likely find bugs you never considered would exist. Fuzzing is a fantastic addition to the Go toolchain and will help you get even closer to the bulletproof code we all want. Workspaces. The adoption of Go modules has been very successful. Building off that success, Go 118 introduces Workspaces. Workspaces are a big leap forward in developer quality of life when dealing with the toil of managing multiple modules in the same repo. Lastly, performance improvements. Apple Silicon, ARM64, and PowerPC64 users will get up to a 20% boost in CPU performance using Go 118. These improvements are built on the groundwork laid in Go 117's register expansion of the ABI calling conventions for these CPU architectures. These changes pay large performance dividends in Go 118. So if your target CPU architectures are any of the ones I previously mentioned, look for a big speed boost. Thanks to you. Go 118 is a huge milestone for the Go language and the Go community. It is packed with additional features and fixes that we didn't cover here, so please check out the release notes. We want to give a special thanks to everyone in the community that participated in this release. The Go community is exceptionally strong. It is the community that refines Go into the powerful language it has become. Thanks for making this such an awesome release. You can check out more info on all these features in the description below, and we'll see you next time.